voted to approve the competitive analysis study, so that is underway. We have sent in our information and are finalizing that. They've almost um, finished the competitive benchmark analysis. Uh, that is where they pull a lot of data. So they've almost finished that. We hope we should hope to have this finished within six weeks, but the data presented to us in September is our goal. So um, um, that's our update on the competitive analysis study. Um, just to make everybody aware, in September, I will not be here for the September board meeting. Um, so I don't know if that means y'all would like to have a date change um, or staff can run the meeting, but I just wanted to present that to the, the board for consideration and see how you feel about either changing it or... Um, um, but just to give you a few other updates, I just returned back from New York where I met with several, several location advisors. Uh, it was really, um, it, it was a very enlightening process. It's ba basically um, speed networking. Um, so I met with 15 type consultants, got great feedback um, on Valdosta and Miles County. And actually these New York, Boston, New England consultants that looked at Valdosta and were very familiar with them. Um, gave them updates on our community and what is taking place. And I actually have several follow-ups that we'll be taking as just some questions and I've already heard back from a few of them already. So it was a very good positive experience um, and something we look forward to um, working with them on. Um, so to give you that update. Also, one of the things that we're working with, and this came out a couple of years ago, if you'll remember, we did a workforce initiative where we worked with our logistics distribution group and then we also worked with our manufacturing sector to hear what, um, and our, all of our educational from K through 12 to our higher education, education uh, partners to talk about what is it the industries are looking for and had some open dialogue between the groups. Um, out of that, one of the existing industries said, you know, we don't have a logistics or supply chain management major or degree here, and they learned that actually there is one at Georgia Military College, but that spurred a lot of conversation between Wiregrass Georgia Technical College, Alaska State University. So I actually talked with um, Lingo College of Business, had a breakfast with them, and they're looking to write that logistics minor. Um, and so we're helping them with that. We've um, contacted five existing industries within the logistics distribution sector and the manufacturing sector where logistics distribution is heavy because they're distributing as well, to talk about the trends in the industry and what that type of degree would look like. So we're putting our existing industries together with our higher education partners. Um, and in addition to that, they've asked to go to the port. So I'll be setting up a tour of the port with their leadership as well as um, for them to see the facility, to see again what components from that logistics degree can the ports use and so that we're all having an all-encompassing look at that program and what it would mean to those um, industries <coughs> a practical um, component. Um, so that has turned out to be really good and also that with Wiregrass and that concludes the report. I think also the issue is willing to add a minor, if not if you want to major down the line. Partnership. Mr. Gupton, your report, please. Yes, sir. The committee will recall on February 1st, 2008, 